Hello guys and welcome to part 3 where we are going to solve few MCQs related to Java SE8 Programmer 1 1Z0808. So let us get started with question number 1. So over here you can see that we have a question that says what will be the output of following code. So let us just understand the code first. We have a main method public static void main. And then we are trying to create a list of type array list and we are naming the list as my list then we are trying to add elements to the list one by one at each statement we will be adding a alphabet so first we add a then we add b then we add c then we add d and then we add a after that we have a condition that if my list dot remove a returns a value then remove b after doing this print my list so what is a list list is basically a consecutive memory location in which we can add elements dynamically let us just check the options that we have in option number one we are trying to print a b c d a that means we are trying to print all the elements which signifies that on statement number 10 and 11 nothing happened then we have option number b that says that it will print c d a that means both of the statement ran and a and b were removed from you know from initial of the list then option number c says we have a b c d okay that means only the if part ran but the in the inner statement didn't run okay then we have b c d a okay this means that again the a in in this thing it means that the a was removed from the end and over here it means that a more a was removed from the start now what exactly will happen now when this at you know uh, the list will be created over here then a b c d a will be created till you know statement number eight so over here we will be having an a array like this a b c d a then line number 10 will be executed and it will remove a so now we only the a is removed now we only have b c d a Af in in if statement what happens in java is whenever something is returned to if other than zero or false it is considered true and the statement that are inside if will run okay after that b will be removed so the correct answer is cda both of these elements will be removed and only cda would have been left so this is the answer if you want explanation i have written it over here again you can pause the video and understand it for yourself let us just move on to another question what should i run on cmd so that the following lines are printed java is fun in java we can pass arguments to the main method using command line over here in this main method you can see that the main method accepts a array of type string name args so if you will provide something to the command line it will consider it as elements that it has to save inside this args array so let us just look to the options option number one says java c tutorial dot java this first statement is used to start the program to run in command line and in the second one we pass the arguments so in the second one we are trying to pass java tutorial the name and then java is fun 
then we have java tutorial dot java over here the c is removed and c is over here java c tutorial java is fun then over here we are trying to provide java tutorial dot java java c tutorial java is fun in option number c this whole string will be saved at args 0 because we are trying to since we added the double inverted commas it will consider this whole thing as one string and it will save it on zero and none of these so last two options are incorrect we are left with option number a and option number b so what you have to understand is when we are trying to run a program using cmd java c this particular keyword is used to compile this java file tutorial dot java so only using this and this java c is only used in the first statement that we passed to the cmd so again option number b is incorrect so now we understood what the statement one means java c is used to compile our tutorial dot java over you can over here you can see that the class name and the dot java file name has to be same after that the java file will run over here okay this java and then we have to provide a class name and then this is the argument one argument two and argument three i'll use this slide to explain you so java where we have written java then the class name over here we have the class name tutorial then this space this and sp this space they will be considered as three different elements and they will be saved inside this string array so args 0 has java args 1 has is and args 2 has fun if we add double inverted commas like this this whole tutorial java is fun would go inside this particular thing okay so but we if, if you see the output they want us to print it one by one so this is the answer okay moving ahead to another question we have a question here that says what will be the output again we have a main method over here then we have a list of type integer and we are naming the object that we are trying to create over here of array list of type integer is a then we are trying to add one two and three to the list and then we are using a dot set one comma one that means at the memory location one put element one then we are trying to print it so we have four options over here 113 what 113 means is that it, uh, it initially it was 123 then when we try to set one at memory location one that is this two so if you know you know the indentation starts sorry indentation sorry the memory location start at zero this is this is memory location zero this is one this is two so when we are trying to do this set one comma one that means we are trying to play around with this particular memory location which has two so if this will run like this that you know one comma one will remove this two and put one at its place and it will print one one three then we have one two three that means the line number nine did no change then we have one one two three that means that the element that was present at two it moved to th uh, at one it moved a uh, place next to it and one was set to it that means it is not overwritten it's appended at the place of the memory location that we provided and the element that was already over there it moved to right then the fourth option says it will be one two one three okay the correct answer is one one three that means the set method will remove the element that is at location one and it will set one as suggested 
so over here the list dot add it always appends the list on the elements but when we use set it won't append it or move the element to the right so this is also wrong this is also wrong the element will be replaced two will be gone when we are using set yeah so that was it for part 3 i hope you guys learned something out of it and you are enjoying the series thank you for watching